First and We've ten. got a first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. 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 Alabama e and comes to the line with three wide. And that one's incomplete. Lewis was the intended target, so that'll make it second down. Second From their ten. own 31 yard line. On the 31 yard Second yard down. Line. From the gun. And he's hammered down. He took a shot on that play. He better check and make sure all of his limbs are still attached. Take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. They line up in the shotgun. Crowder on first down with the throw. And it's caught. Brought down at the 47. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 47-yard line. Alabama e and m lines up in a shotgun set. Look at the throw. Moves up in the pocket. Flips it. Harris with the tackle at the 38. They're moving the ball very well on this drive, guys. Yep, the defense is preventing the deep ball, but the problem is they can't stop the short stuff. And the offense seems to be building a little bit more momentum on every play. First they line up at the 38. Oh, it's first down. Yeah. Crowder is back in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. Incomplete pass. They almost got to him that time. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmaker. Second down. Ball on the 38-yard line. Crowder lines up with five wide out. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. Unloads it. Complete. Knocked out of bounds at the 34 yard line. Loss of about two. Four six. Alabama EM ready to put this one away. Frank is waiting for the snap. He gets it away and it's a skyrocket. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. Tell you guys, a passing game was sure on target during their last drive. And the quarterback had great protection by his offensive line. When he gets time, he can pick you apart. The offense will start at the 20 yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Second so it's 14. second and 14. Ball on the 16-yard line. Yeah. Going with the shotgun here. Payne drops back to pass. Swings it out to his man on the screen. But he's pushed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Nothing going on that one. Right. 
third, third and 14, 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 16. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. He throws right. Got it to him on the run. Tackle at the 37 yard line. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. First, first down, 10. 10 yards to Ball go. On the 37. On the The defense sets up in the dive. Back to pass. He looks. He breaks it. He's under pressure. Deep pass down the right side. Got it. He's all the way down to the 34. He threw a strike that time, Coach. You ain't kidding. That kid's got some kind of arm, and it carried him to a big game right there. Yard line. First down. From the gun. He drops the throw. Wants to throw outside. And he's got him again. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Well, he's reached another milestone. Kirk, you want to tell us about it? Well, guys, with that last play, this young man has now thrown for over 3,000 yards on the season. That's very impressive. Since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. The running back has it. Tries to shoot. Can't pick him up. Touchdown. Another touchdown. Why not? This just goes to show you that there is more to playing defense than emotion. You can't continuously play out of position like this. You're going to find yourself in a lot of mismatches. Today, those mismatches have turned into touchdowns. Yo, what's good, bro? How you feeling? Here's the try for the extra point. This one's a short kick. The 
Number 12 takes it to 14. And now we'll see the offense coming out, out of the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at um, 32 and First and 10. This, this was the year of the option. Like when, when a lot of motherfucking QB, like when a lot of teams really start landing on the option. Takes the pitch. It's like you see the, the option a lot on um, this game, 06. You see the option a lot on 06, 07, 08. 09. And on the left, yeah. People don't know, man. The best teams that ever master the option for real is Navy and goddamn Georgia Tech. I'm sorry. Best teams to ever run the option. Navy, Georgia Tech, and maybe Notre Dame. Maybe no well yeah. Navy, uh uh Navy, um uh Georgia Tech and Notre Dame. Best best three Still teams to run the option. For the point. What you say? I'm gonna say Baylor. Baylor was a copycat when they had RG3. And he converts the extra point. Hey, what the fuck made them think? But listen, listen, listen. This is why. This is why I think RG3 really didn't work out in the NFL. Cause he was an option quarterback. Like, come Everyone's on, man. Right. Kicks it off. You niggas was the. I can't really say Vicker. that. I can't say, I, what I'm saying, right, this is what I want to say. If you go back to the 2012-13 season, uh, RG3 came in the league, watch the Redskins run the odds in the most out of any motherfucking team in here. Boom. In the NFL, because I think I think the Eagles was the first one that first started doing it. From now, it was even the Eagles or the 49ers. But I know Washington. Ran it the most in 2012. Why? Because the, when they drafted the RG3, he was a the gun. He lets it go. Complete. And he's taken down at the 24. So they but, um, execute, move a little closer to the ooh. sticks. Yeah. Complete the those short passes is the key. key. Because it loves the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can but, um, watch one big one downfield for a big game. RG3 was an option quarterback. That's not a pro side. From their own 24 yard Look ball. at it's second down. Josh Wilson. Went to, um, uh, excuse me, Josh Allen. Comes from Wyoming. Up in the shotgun. First out, first out offense. To the air. Um, Surveys the field. Catches it. Brock Josh Rosen, and UCLA. And a nice pick up offense. through the air. I'll tell you what, Sam Rose, Darnold. I love this first kid's throwing offense. ability. He's got a Head quick release goodness. and he's very first accurate. First out offense. Um, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. Pro style offense. Jalen Hurts. Pro style offense. A lot of these... Baker Mayfield when he was in fucking Oklahoma. Pro style offense. Texas Tech. I'm going to say this. Alabama and m Patrick Mahomes. How the fuck are you this great in the NFL? Well, you some shit. You, I ain't going to say you some shit in college, but what I'm saying is the reason Patrick Mahomes is where he's, where he's at is because he developed, he, he, he developed himself into a pro style quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Because if you go back into the Texas Tech, you, you, so many question marks are popping in your mind about motherfucking um, Patrick Mahomes. Like, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm, Number twelve, mm, back deep to return. You know what I'm saying, but look, he, 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 he Frank. You know what I'm saying, he, he didn't kick that ball well at all. He became, Number 12, he became a. Uh, ooh, that's gone. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. With a ten, they return it all the way for the touchdown. He was on his way telling me, oh, yeah, yeah, RG3, yeah, yeah, But see, that's the thing about it, right? About that RG3 shit. I'm glad you said it, right? He's accelerating by the defense. Keep this in mind, guys. He is capable of doing this every time he touches the ball. And I want you to peep this, right? And I want you to go back and do your homework. You may agree with me. You may not. But listen. The reason, I right, listen. That year, RG3 fucked his knee up. What did they do the next year? They didn't run no options, none of that shit. They tried to turn Robert Griffin into what? A pro style quarterback, which he's what? He's not, dog. Like, look, look, look at how much of a uh, he stayed in the pocket. 
They they had to turn him into a pro style quarterback. Why? Because he fucked his knee up. He didn't. He, he he. They didn't want him to fuck his knee up even more. Robert Griffin didn't want to do that. He wanted to run around. But look at the same shit with with Washington. <clears throat> Excuse me, Jason Campbell. Jason Campbell's a scrambler, dog from Auburn. Jason Campbell's a scrambler, dog. But they didn't want him to do it. But when Jason Campbell went to Oakland, that nigga was moving all around. And that nigga was pirouetting on the goddamn football field and some more shit. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, when they tried to turn RG3 to a pro-style uh, quarterback, which he is not, that nigga struggled. You know what I'm saying? He took them. I think they went, what, like 6-10 and 10 that season. Like, damn, bro. Man, he's, he wasn't a pro-style passer. They're setting up for the PAT. But yeah, that's why. But yeah, that's why Patrick Mahomes, like he didn't, he didn't come from a pro style offense. He but to the upright he worked his way. Point. He learned. He learned from Andy Griffin. I mean Andy Reid. I call that nigga Andy Griffin. Andy Reid. He learned from Andy Reid. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's so, all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Like look, Donovan McNabb. Donovan McNabb was a scrambler. He when he went to Philly with who? Andy Reid. He turned him into a pro style pass. Like, come on, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, the defense really stepped up to force that play out on the last drive. Yeah, the offense wasn't clicking on their last possession. We'll see if they have things figured out on this next drive. Right, don't get it twisted. Um, Donovan McNabb can Bill throw the ball. Over. But he went back to, a lot, to, to his uh, Syracuse days. He, he did a lot of running. Like, um, Crowder will throw. Who the fuck is that? Louisville? Yeah, great upfield rush here by the defensive end. They run a lot of one back. Manages you know what I'm saying? A lot of on the ball lot, yeah, one back That's offense, a terrific I think. play. Well, they run a lot of one back, so it's a lot of pistols and a lot of options. And who went to Louisville? That's in the NFL now. They run a lot of options. Come on, figure it out. Baltimore Ravens. Second, second and ten. Ball on the 26. Lamar Jackson is trying to be a pro-style quarterback. He doesn't want to be Crowder, just a standard or run. He wants to be a pro-style quarterback. He Why you think left. Lamar got it to him on the run at the 40, at the 30, He throws the more 20, than he, the 10, he runs touchdown. now. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, listen up. In order to turn Lamar Jackson to a pro-style pass, you got to give him some weapons to work with to make him look like a pro-style pass. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right. Put Tom Brady in the offense that Lamar Jackson has. Tom Brady is still like the scoreboard up. Why? Because he know how to pick his. He know how to pick. He know how to pick that defense apart with his what pocket passing. You know what I'm saying? Like for the point after. Lamar Jackson, I love Lamar Jackson. One of my favorite quarterbacks, but Lamar Jackson cannot pick the defense away from the pocket. I mean, I'm going to say this. His first year, he put up the numbers in his MVP year. Yeah, but what happened? I don't know. I'll tell you what happened. If y'all don't see a lot of new passes that RG3 made, ooh, excuse me, that Lamar Jackson made was in the run. And this one's a short kick. Like Number when he 12, did, the like when he did bust it. Ooh, like when he did from bust it from the pocket. Like, He's off to the okay, motherfuckers was looking like, okay, boom. He, he, he got it. He, he looked like he gonna be, he, he looked like he could be more than a run, but it's just like, I don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What's up, my ability to outrun the cover? The NFL doesn't like to build around dual threat. Thank you. They don't. They, you're right, bro. They do not like to build around dual threat, threat quarterbacks. He makes the PAT. He's like. But look at Nick Sirianni. He did. He did. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. All right, Jalen Hurts is now in a pocket pass. Because if you look at Alabama, go back to the Alabama days. Two took of our love was more of the pocket passer than Jalen Hurts. That's why he got fucking benched in the national championship. I ain't spending that time. I'm just emphasizing. Tight 
you know what I'm saying? But that's why Jalen Hurst was benched in the goddamn in the goddamn national championship game because he couldn't throw them pocket passes like to a tug, 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 tug of our load could. Alabama a &M lines up in the shotgun set. Yeah, yeah they did. They built. They built around Jalen Hurts, a dual threat quarterback. Lewis That's because Nick Sirianni like fuck that. That'll Winning is more important. Down. Yes, it is. Let me tell you though. Keep um. I'm gonna say this. Second, Second and ten. If you send oh, three down Miami, he's gonna torch. If you send him to Tampa Bay, six DBs he'll in the torch. Like, this is what I was saying though. Prouder. He'll torch though. And it's incomplete. But if you sent Tom There's Brady to, um, the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this might anyway. be. What's that? Rough in the pass and holding? All right. But if you sent uh, uh, Tom Brady to, um, to, uh, um, Baltimore, the there is no offense at all for him. He's still going to do his thing. And losing the game. But look, though, Lamar Jackson, like, Lamar Jackson, he, he can get the job done. If he Second just, ball. Ball. Ball they can ball. turn him in. I don't know if it's Lamar, or if it's the all, or if it's the defense lines or if it's up the with Baltimore five defensive organization. Back. But if Lamar Proud becomes a dual threat quarterback with a far as running and, and passing, let me tell 26. you, fuck Jalen, fuck Tom, <laughs> fuck Russ, <laughs> fuck Justin, fuck Brock. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you, that, that man is going to be something special. Because let me tell you, Lamar Jackson has an arm. But he just doesn't have the accuracy. Lamar Jackson's arm is stronger than Jalen Hurst. But he just have, doesn't have the accuracy, dog. Crowder drops the throw. Looks. Miami will take He wants it all. Caught. What a catch. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown! Jay, yeah, I bet they would take Jalen over two. I'm gonna tell you that. I'm gonna say it like this though. Tua won't be in the NFL long for the next what? In the, within the next five years. That's why he's concussion prone, dog. Why the fuck are all your injuries are concussions? Like you're concussion prone, bro. So we got Georgetown and William and Murray next. And after that, we got um. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Monday Night Raw. Number 12 already has one kick return that went for a touchdown. Let's see if they kick it. To him again. Hey, where you at, Mercy? And it's a short kickoff. Number 12 fields it at the 19. Ah, he came out the block. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive. They came in with a touchdown. Number 12 defense has been talking it over on the sideline. Trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop him this time. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers brought to you by Coach. Kane has five receivers lined up here. He looks to throw on first down. Kane throws. Oh! It is, he got it! In your the mama's ten. butt, nigga. Touchdown. And they just keep on scoring. Just the the I so easy out there. You know what's scary? <laughs> February, nigga. I ain't about to sing about love, nigga. Fuck that shit. Fuck you cooking some hot dogs and noodles, nigga. Some ground beef and pork and beans, nigga. Fuck you, you, you grilling, you grilling bologna on a goddamn uh, 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 school desk, nigga. Heat that shit up, nigga. Heat that shit up. I bet, I bet they will try to make. The, I bet they try to make Will Levis the number one pick. Because he here's the kicking team. To try That's what I'm saying. Point. But listen though, Damn, she's fat as shit. Oh shit. 
Man, I'm looking at ass. And he man. converts the extra point. But see, that's what I'm saying, though. A lot of these motherfucking, a lot of these, um. Wood. A lot of these, this is. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, BY. This is what I've been saying about. Fields it at the two. When I was talking about in a couple of videos back, it was, it was one video I was talking about like schemes, perfect fits for quarterbacks and all that shit. I was talking about my player and shit, right? This is what I'm saying. And I'm going to be real as fuck. Not to take nothing from him. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, right? up in the nickel. Dwayne Haskins. This is why he didn't fit. Looking, and he's hit as he throws. NFL and it falls incomplete. mode, or prototype Yo, mode, just yet. Incompletion. Dwayne has a pass Great job. Because they only played one of year football, football, dog. Now this is junior year. Come on, bro. I'm going I'm to well, be honest girl, with you. He was under pressure. Unbelievable pressure. You really don't have that many quarterbacks that play that has Second played only one, one year and actually that really has done something in the NFL throughout their whole career, but Tom Brady. The defense lines up That's with five defensive backs. Gets um, off the gun. What's his name? Um, uh, Peyton Manning. Man. Oh, fumble. Komaruski. 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 And Peyton Manning. He played down there all his years. CJ Stroud. He played what? Two years. That's not what you're looking for. Josh Allen played three years. Josh Rosen played three years. Um. Baker Mayfield played three years because he played as freshman, sophomore, and junior. He played as freshman at Texas Tech and as sophomore and junior at Oklahoma. Um, but you get what I'm saying, right? He throws it. Touchdown. And he just called in his second touchdown. See, Bryce. Hold on. Oh, I'm Patty. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm Patty. I'm just fucking with you. Uh, who else? Joe Montana played all four years. John Elway played all four years. Um, but you see what I'm saying? Troy Aikman, all four years. You know what I'm saying? But you see what I'm saying? These are quarterbacks. Quarter, like, I believe that if you want to make it in the NFL, dog, they line up for the point. You need answer. to stay more than more at least more than two years. If you don't want to stay all four years, at least more than two years. Cause I like, look at Sam Donald. Sam Donald was a fucking sophomore when he came out, dog. He do we hear about Sam Donald? Yes. Oh, we do? Yes, we do. When he fucks up. Yes, we do. When he fucks up. Boy. Baker Mayfield, do we hear about him? Yes. We do? Yes. When he fucks up. When he fucks up. If you look back at Baker Mayfield's career, the best game that he had throughout his whole fucking career was that game when he uh, with the Rams. Ooh. 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 That game with the Rams when he brought him back and, and won for him. I thought that was but you thought that moment resurrected his career? No, that's just a moment that he had to rest his body, heal his mind, and then step back out there. Anyone can win a game with a rest of body over motherfuckers. Hold on, what week did, did Baker Mayfield come in? Like what? 12, 13, maybe 15? Maybe 15? Wait, no, no, no. I think he came in what? Week 12 or 13, some shit like that, right? These niggas been playing like 10, 11 weeks straight. Of course you gonna come in and score. Who the fuck? Is, bro. They could put me out there on the field and I'm limber as a motherfucking tree in the, in the, in the, in the autumn wind. I'm limber, nigga, as the motherfucking, as a fucking tree in the autumn wind. And I'm about to roll a blizzy right quick. But I'm about to still talk to y'all. Like, I'm, I'm breezy as a motherfucking... As, as the wind, you know what I'm saying? As the as a tree in the motherfucking autumn wind, you put me out there on the field. Oh yeah, don't forget y'all. XFL that shit starts February 18th. Oh yeah, you put me the fuck out there and shit, bro. Let me tell you. <clears throat> can y'all still hear me real good? Let me know if y'all can still hear me. But yeah, you put me out there. All right, let's say Lamar Jackson and uh, what's his name, Tyler Huntley or Brett Huntley, whatever the nigga name is, they got hurt, right? Seriously. Uh, Lamar Jackson got a, 
a knee sprain, and and uh, Tyler Huntley got toe turf. And I'm and I'm online looking. Oh, quarterback needed. Uh, I'm a, I go up there practice. Boom, blow their ass out the water. Right on practice. I bet you they'll put me on the field. And I'm gonna call this the Brock Purdy effect. Nigga, Brock Purdy ain't played in what? Brock Purdy, last time Brock Purdy played football, nigga, was his bowl game. His college bowl game. I'm gonna call this the Brock Purdy effect, right? <laughs> nigga, I can motherfucking come out there, right? Boom. Feeling good. My motherfucking lungs, 100%. Legs, 100%. Arm, 100%. We need you to get us a win. All right, cool. Say, what? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, he makes the comeback. He makes him win. Oh, my God. It has this resurrected his career. Da, 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 da. And let me tell you, next week I go out there, right? Look like some total trash. Look like some total shit, right? Brock Purdy didn't, though. Because you want to know why? Brock Purdy... Stayed in the NFL Motherfucking After uh After Baker Mayfield got cut That nigga ain't played for like what Ain't played practice None of that shit For fuck you mean For like uh Like what Three me three weeks Almost a month dog But what I'm saying is After that game With him coming back And winning He felt that shit Nigga Fuck you <laughs> No, nah, I'm not gonna discount What he done um, yeah, he has a yeah, B Y. Yeah, he he has had a few games, but his best game was that game with the Rams, dog. Like you thought that Baker Mayfield was resurrected the whole time. That was just that was just a a, a well rested Baker Mayfield. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna say it like this. Look at Tom Brady. He had to shake off the rust in the first couple weeks because why? OTAs and 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 um involuntary man involuntary uh training camps he didn't show up remember he left he didn't do none of that shit so he doesn't have no chemistry with his team or none of that shit you know what i'm saying so it had to take him weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks to find his chemistry with his team but what i'm saying is like after baker mayfield came back he was starting to feel that shit physically and then that shit got to him mentally I think Baker Mayfield needs to retire, dog. Like, he needs to just pull an Andrew Luck. Because that's why Andrew Luck retired. He says the game has taken a toll on him mentally. The physical the physical aspect of the game has taken a toll on him mentally. That's because, man, like, I can't call no man weak. I can't call no man weak. I won't call no man weak. But. <clears throat> I'm gonna say this as delicately as possible, but uh, what the fuck you entered the draft for, nigga? If you was gonna retire within what four years, that nigga retired in four years. Andrew Luck came in the league at twenty. No, 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 no. Excuse me. I apologize. Andrew Luck came in the league at twenty three and he retired at twenty seven. You might as well say four years. 23, 24, 24, 25, 25, 26, 26, 27. I, you know what I'm saying? I mean, his 20, after his 27th birthday, he didn't come back. He, I remember that shit. I, I, you know what's crazy? And I think I'm about to live without a phone, right? Because every time I wake up in the morning on a certain day or some shit, I see some shit on my motherfucking phone. Like, are you serious? Like, the takeoff shit. I ain't about to take it there, though. But the takeoff shit. I walk up to him, you know what I'm saying, to his news and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Cause it's just like shit be throwing me off, man. But um, yeah, uh, uh um, I about to call his ass Brock Lesnar. <laughs> uh, what the fuck is his name though? Uh, Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck. That nigga retired in motherfucking uh, you might as well say three and a half, four years though. It might be, it might have been five, but I know he didn't stay in the league no longer than five years, dog. Because he was twenty-seven when he retired. I remember this shit, nigga. Cause I looked that shit up. <clears throat> Damn, Incarnate Word lost twenty-eight, well thirty-five to twenty-eight, 
Alcorn State beat Bama, Alabama State 38-24. Um, ASU beat George, uh, George Washington 30-13. Oh, those were the only games for the day. Oh. But you get what I'm saying? No, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna say I'm gonna bring it from here. And you probably disagree, but I, I I disagree with this bullshit. They said the reason Tyson lost all those fights when he came back is because he was washed up. He wasn't training. He didn't have it no more. This and that and this. No, nigga, Tyson did that shit for the bread, bro. I don't give a fuck what you say. Why? Because he was dead ass broke. I feel that he did it for the bread. But listen, though, when I say this. Now, I'm, I, I, I'm not going to say he did it for the bread because that sounds like a selfish reason. He did it to make some money to feed his family. Because, you know, he just had a baby. He just had kids and everything. Or I think it was his baby girl that died on the treadmill. Because, like, one of those fights I was watching when Tyson came back. Like, come on, man. Tyson had got hit. And that nigga just took a knee for the whole 10. I'm like, really, Tyson? Like, and I love Tyson, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? No homo, of course. But I love Tyson. But that fight I watched, like, I'm like, damn. Then it was like two more fights after that shit. They said he lost. Like, come on, man. Like, bro. Tyson did that shit so he could make a few couple million. Because he made a couple million off those fights. You know what I'm saying? He 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 made a couple meal off those fights to take care of his motherfucking family. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Hey, shit. Sure. Hey, I take a ass. I take a few ass whoops for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Fuck that, cause you wanna know why I'm still the baddest man on the planet. Still the baddest man on the planet. Fuck that. Now you thought Ali. You thought Ali meant that shit when he said, "I'm a bad man." No, nigga, Tyson. That nigga's a bad man. That nigga's like that R. Kelly song on that Shab movie. I'm a bad man. Oh, yes. Not ashamed of. I'm a bad man. Oh, yes. Don't need no love. <laughs> I piss on you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Tyson Tyson wasn't washed up, dog. Tyson was not washed up at all. Tyson knew he could beat them niggas' asses. <laughs> Tyson knew he could beat them. It was a bunch of shit going on. He needed much to cook, cook, uh, coddle him mentally. He was a little. He was a little. Yeah, yeah, like shit though. But, it, but, but, but if you notice though, bro, like look at those fights, bro. Look at his last fights that he fought to get the money. Tyson, it looks like Tyson knew he could have beat them niggas' asses, and he didn't want to destroy them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, and don't call my phone, nigga, asking me to pick up no kids today, motherfucker. I'm nobody's daddy, but I love my little cousins, so I would do it for them. The the babies, not the mama, the babies. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, prime example to um another fight um. Um, I don't know. You could probably say, uh, what, what fucking fight was that? That shit slipped my mind. You mixed that Don and that Hollywood Hennessy. It was a rest. Man, who the fuck are you telling, bro, bro? I'm almost done. I'm about to start it. Start it back up. Who's the best pound for pound fighter? Sugar Ray Robinson or Floyd Mayweather Jr.?
Thank you. Thank you. Bro, I was about to say, boy, we gonna have to step in the ring, nigga, if you say motherfucking Floyd. <laughs> nigga, I don't give a fuck if you licensed, nigga. Shit. I'm gonna jump on your back, pull your neck, and some more shit. And like, nigga, say, say Sugar Ray, nigga. Say Sugar Ray. Fuck. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. A lot of people don't know that Sugar Ray Robinson fought from lightweight all the way to light heavyweight. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So we. Okay. We. Okay. Okay. We got a. We got an avid boxer. Uh, a box. A boxing fan. Yeah, but it's the crazy thing about bro, you probably the only nigga that I know to know that shit. A lot of people just know Sugar Ray as the middleweight. Nah, don't look at him as just the middleweight. Look at what he did from every 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 class every class that he was in. I'm a bad man, oh yes, not ashamed of. I'm a bad man, oh yes, don't need no love. <laughs> Bruh, who you you know about Roger Mayweather? Cause I know about Roger and Floyd. Huh? -huh. A lot of people don't know his father was a a a a killer. Roger was too. But see, a lot of people don't know though. Roger taught Floyd and Floyd Jr. Huh? Roger was the master of all that shit. All right, so we ready, y'all. So like I said, after this we got um Georgetown and um William and Mary, and then after that we got Monday Night Raw, and I might slip in some boxing or some uh jelly. Yeah, yeah, he fought Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah. You know what, bro? I look at that fight on uh YouTube all the time, bro. A lot of people don't know you go on YouTube. You can find the video of that fight, uh, the uh, the uh, the Mayweather and Sugar Ray Leonard fight. Bro, I love sports history too, bro. Because you want to know why? It takes you back to the time and makes you remember when sports was worth. When I when sports wasn't soft. And what I mean by soft, everything in the NBA now is a foul. Everything in the motherfucking NFL now is a targeting, roughing the passer, uh, clipping, uh, blocking the back. I'm like, bro, I remember when safeties could lunge at you and take your motherfucking head off and niggas would still get up. But you wanna know what I blame? I blame these little ass pads these niggas be wearing. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Yes, yeah, commercial life. I blame these little ass pads these niggas be wearing now. He kicks it off. Vickers. My bad. Tell me if the mic, the mic volume good. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Yeah, it's not about being better than the next man. It's about the Bulldogs with four receivers securing your bag. Now. And you know what's crazy? Not to say this, not to um, I'm not trying to um, be racial, prejudice, or none of that shit. But um, second, second down. Black people All are becoming just like the white man. Nothing about but nothing about, about money. Nothing, what about the love or some shit? Five DBs you know what I'm saying? Black people just do some shit for the love of the shit. You know what I'm saying? We just do that shit for the love of the shit. Music. For the love of it. Football. For the love of it. Basketball. Love. Boxing. Baseball. All that shit for the love of it. Man, we just doing that shit for the bag. Promoting music, nigga. We used to do that shit for the love of the music. Fuck that, nigga. Now everybody just want to do that shit for the motherfucking the, the, the security of the bag. I understand that, nigga, but if you chasing money, third line up the 17. And them long-term opportunities will not come, bro. 
Alabama A&M in a four-wide set. He steps up, surveys the field. And the ball. So the defense holds, and they're going to have to punt. Niggas down oh, low, man. They line up to punt this oh, one away. Number 12 is back to return. And he's the same guy that already ran one all the way back. He gets it off. Number 12 fields at the 48. But before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you. Bro, that's why all sports, sports are trash now. I ain't gonna say all sports are trash. But it's on the verge of becoming watered down and sentimental. Well, and this is a great place to start the I rate. I'm about to get like, it's, it, it's egregious. It's egregious, Jay. And I can't stand it. It's like my, my goddamn Knicks. <laughs> you already know who that is. <laughs> Steven. Stephen A. Smith. Clark brings him down at the 32 yard line. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get yeah, him the first. Yeah, right. MMA hey, is still. Hey, listen, this is my new sports was being down. watered down. When I saw black men riding on unicorns in the WWE, I said, what the fuck is this? Who was that, um, the New Day? Come on, dog, get the fuck out of here. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers brought to you by Coke. Man, what? The Bulldogs a. line up with six defensive backs. He looks to throw on first down. He's looking for his man. What? He's right there for the interception. That was a nice interception. Why do with I always get the shitty control? Easy pick. I don't know how I threw that shit too. Yeah, WWE is fuck horrible. It's egregious. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be like Stephen A. It's egregious, and I can't stand the look of it. They got to do something better. Come on, y'all. We got to do something better. You know, Keyshawn, Molly, Mad Dog. First <laughs> drive will start. We got to do something about this. <laughs> <coughs> the Bulldog come out the shotgun. He lets it go, and he's stopped behind the line. They get a one-yard loss on that one. From their own 28-yard line, second and 11. The Bulldogs line up with four wideouts. Crowder back to throw. He'll dump it short, and this one falls incomplete. Hey, I noticed that the defenses oh, on here passes just aren't acceptable. They are I don't care if you're so getting hit or not. much. Hey, I said it's just like he'll check it last night. No big so deal. They'll much on top of shit, and he'll come up with the catch. You yeah. know, yeah. he probably will, but there's oh, still no excuse. I'll for say the one that just uh, uh, NCAA football 14 is the shittiest defense. Comes to the line That's the game with the most shittiest defense. The, the tackling is poor. The defending is poor. Um, the block setting is poor. He's looking. Moves up in the pocket. Throws. Oh. And they make the stop. What else? The pursuit is poor. They couldn't get the first down. But well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. Oh, they held him short. Her. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little rated chip who used to fight in Bellator. Hold up. But you see, that's what. The, and see, that's another thing, right? A lot of these Bellators and boxers and shit, they trying to jump from boxing to mma or from boxing to wrestling and shit i remember back in the day if you saw a boxer or a basketball player like dennis Rodman when he was on wwf uh mike tyson mike tyson wwf floyd mayweather wwf um who else um the nigga from the, the chicago bears he actually became a wrestling wcw he used to play uh steven uh steven adams i think that was his name he used to play linebacker for the bears bruh he became a motherfucking wrestler in WCW back in the day. It's Steven something. He always he was with the uh, Four Horsemen. He always used to wear the Letterman's jacket with the white T-shirt, the black police glasses, and like a little ponytail and shit. I can't remember his name. But he used to play linebacker for the Bears, bro. <clears throat> I remember, ooh, excuse me, I'm rambling. I, I can't even catch my breath. I remember that back in the day when niggas used to um, be on wrestling or whatever or crossover sports, it was for the entertainment part of it. Not just the, oh, I'm going to jump from MMA to wrestling. Blah, blah, blah. Like, Ronda Rousey. The reason she jumped to wrestling because she kept getting her ass beat. Quiet as cap. The reason Brock Lesnar came back to WWF because he kept getting his ass beat. Quiet as cap. And the reason Conor McGregor went back to boxing. Because, I mean, went back to UFC and left boxing. Know why? Because he kept getting his ass beat. Now, you got to think. Every sport 
just because the contact and the combat oh, is the similar, nigga. Number twelve is back the, the, to the, the, the strategical part is very the fatigue. The, 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 the strategical part and the, and, the, and the training part, that shit is very different. Some it. shit is more intense than others. Signals for a fair catch. Fuck that, like. Time once again for this offense to come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, that, shit is, that shit is way different. Like, a lot of, like, just like football and basketball. A lot of people stop playing basketball in college and switch over to football because the thinking part of it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know. Look, basketball here at 39. 39. One man backfield. First basketball is more strategical than football is. Because why? Basketball, Game everything you back. do, you have to think. Right? That's why everything you have to do, you have to think. Sometimes you can be in football and just get a free play. You just, oh, just go for it. You know what I'm saying? Football is knowledge in the moment. But basketball is knowledge on the fly. Because you want to know why? <laughs> nigga, the basketball court, you run up and down, nigga, for minutes and minutes and minutes, bro. You got to keep thinking, like, oh, all right, what next? What next? Football, you can settle down, catch your breath. Like, all right, this will be, you know what I'm saying? Like, so people are like, man, hold up. That shit too much. Or well, some people like to jump in football down. and basketball because they like oh, the thinking. They like the thinking part around. of the game. You know what I'm saying? Or the, the they like the... Looks to pass. Looks. Let's it fly. Ooh. He snags it. Fit. With the tackle at midfield. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, fit. this is what I like. <laughs> Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing. Oh! Ah! Ah! ah. My lighter went out. Ah! Ah! Shit. God damn. What we got to call now? First down, 10 to go. Ball right around midfield. Payne with the give. Clark brings him down at the 50 yard line. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. Terrell Matthews. Man, I hope everybody enjoying the stream, man. I hope everybody enjoying the conversation. I know there's people on here listening and looking. If TB, if you on here looking, just know I see you, man. Shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? Second, Second down. Ball on the 50 yard line. I appreciate y'all coming through, but I need y'all to really come Back through tomorrow the night because, um, it's national championship. He steps up, surveys the field. Oh, the diving catch! What do you think of that catch, Coach? This game's got a high level, but what a high he's got to be to play against that kid. He can play for my team any day. Right, still catching in post play. But I'm telling you, it's not going to be as lit like the live stream. Because you want to know why? We're going to talk about a lot of shit. Right, have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone number. Red Zone. When performance matters most. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Rolls to the right. Fires to the end zone. Ah! After that sixth touchdown pass of the day, I don't know what else to say about this guy. I don't think anything's left. He's a great quarterback having a career day. Not much else you can say. Hey, I want, I want, I want to say some shit, right? I want to say some real nigga shit, right? But what I'm about to say, it's because I'm looking for not even confirmation, just feedback and knowledge on the situation. And what I'm about to say is, I want y'all to listen. I'm don't, and don't take it as me hating. I can never do that. I don't drink no haterade. You know what I'm saying? I drink greater rate. You know what I'm saying? Why do you think my name is Dino YG? YG stands for Young Greatness, Young Gangster, Young God. Yeah, that's me. You feel me? But listen. I see a lot of girls. That I've had that I've had sex with. Oh my god, I'm getting better with my vocabulary. I didn't say that I fucked. Actually you just did, nigga. <laughs> but somebody help me out. I see 
a lot of females that I've had sex with, right? And most of them have babies. I right, I'm gonna say it like this: I see female females that I had sex with, right? Didn't have no kids. See them again. Now they got a baby. We tried it again. Did our thing again, but it didn't work out for some reason. I don't know. Not on my behalf. And then I, I see you again. You got a, another baby. You know what I'm saying? But I try to holler at you. You know what I'm saying? To be forgiven. You know what I'm saying? But you like nah. And then when I see you again, it's like, uh, you still ain't got no man around. Like as as when I met you, when I came back around, and then when I saw you again, like. What I'm saying is, why the fuck? All right, hold up. And I'm about to start the game up because I want y'all to feel me and hear me. I'm not jealous of nothing. It's just that, why the fuck are y'all alone? That's What I'm saying is, why the fuck you ain't got no man type shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, or why the fuck you ain't? Stick with me type shit, you know what I'm saying? Had a baby and a boyfriend, husband type shit, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, because I'm like, because I be thinking like, damn, is it me, nigga? Like, like is it me? <laughs> me? Who, me? Couldn't be. Then who? The fuck? Like, I, I truly think it's so because the lines up for the they PAT. not ready for a nigga, a type of nigga like me. Or... I may not be ready at all for that type and of shit. And he adds the extra point. Oh, so we take mm -hmm. a moment to check out the Pontiac Drive Summary. This is what I'm saying. There's no way in hell that 98% of the women in America ready for the choose to be seen. <laughs> Fuck that. There's no way in hell that 98% of the women in America choose to be seen. Right, let me tell you something but about kickoff really? returns. They require good they blocking and precise timing. They, they didn't have that. either one of those things right there. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. <coughs> brought to you by Coke. I hope I'm not the problem. Crowder <laughs> will hand it off. That didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They were coming with a heavy blitz, and guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. Not at all. Not at all, baby. Not at all. Second they line up at the 16. Oh, 16. Oh, yes. Sam. Hey, my man B.Y. and Murphy. He, they both they both yeah, said something about I'm about to read them both up because they pick based off of what they want instead of what they need. Most of the time, Crowder, back to pass. what they want Flipson, is good for them. Herrick, okay, that's my hand to the right team. Mer this quarterback just said, loves this kid as a target in the passing game. I can see why. This kid is a very disciplined receiver. He runs great routes and rarely drops the football. Thank you. Hey. This is his 60th reception hey. of the year. So we know Both he gets the job done. Both of them shit is good. Which is what I was thinking all along. Like the whole life, bro. The defense is in the nickel. Because I feel Browder, like pass. Rose. a relationship is more gone. than just emotional. Victor steps out of bounds. Gotta have a mental. You know what I'm that saying? I don't like the chain. That's what I like to see. Chris tackling by the defense. So That's the same thing I just guess. I just like I'd be on tag and I'd be live streaming, right? Four, 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 four. It's worked down there. Oh, we'll see the like just this one Number girl, 12. right? Already made him pay with a punt return earlier. Who the fuck was it? It was somebody I met. Somebody. Oh. I met this one girl off tag, right? She got four kids, my nigga. Four kids, right? That's bad. <laughs> so I gave that shit. I gave that shit a shit bad. I gave that shit a ghetto pass. I gave that shit a hood pass, right? So, boom. Third and four. 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 She's acting like she's acting like she's feeling me type shit. So I'm like, man, what's up? I'm trying to fuck with you. Da -da -da, make you my girl. This is my girl. I'm not looking for that. I'm not looking for nobody to play daddy, this and that, not this. I'm just trying to have fun. four receivers lined up here. You want a boyfriend and them shit? She's like, nah, baby. Steps up in the pocket. Over the middle. This 
Bullets yeah. out here just having kids with what you trying to fuck me, Mr. Camo, when I came up. I'm like, man, these bitches out here just having kids with what you trying to fuck me, Mr. Camo, when I came up. I'm like, man, these bitches out here just having kids with what you trying to fuck me, Mr. Camo, when I came up. I'm like, man, these bitches out here just having kids with what you trying to fuck me, Mr. Camo, when I came up. I'm like, man, these bitches out here just having kids with what you trying to fuck me, Mr. Camo, when I came up. I'm like, man, these bitches out here just having kids with what you trying to fuck me, Mr. Camo, when I came up. I'm like, man, these bitches out here just having kids with what you trying to fuck me, Mr. Camo, when I came up. I'm like, man, these bitches out here just having kids with Matthew the individual, is the not about me. Back. But you want to know why I be accepting this shit from some females? He throws. He's hit some of these down. females need to make that stand. That goes Fuck you on the skip the side. Well, this wide receiver is definitely having a solid game. He's getting his yards, but more importantly, he's moving the chains from first down. Like the game time. Some of these females need a man to show them. That they can be loved unconditionally, down, no matter go. how they, who they are, how they are, what they act like. Because you want to know why? They daddy ain't around doing it. Alabama e and m lines up in a so. dive defense here. Team back to throw, looking, throws it, and he's got so. it for the touchdown. This is his fifth so touchdown what? reception if, if, of the year. If, what do you think, Kurt? It's but you gotta game. think though, too. This receiver had played well all year long, and you can tell They ain't never accepted that shit from their daddy. What the fuck makes you think they gonna accept that shit from a random nigga? That's time. Do that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of female, females use the, use the, use the, um, this one, this, this is the crazy thing about it. A lot of females use the excuse, oh, all niggas, when all niggas want to do is fuck. All right, baby. I understand that, but can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Do you know all niggas? Do you know every nigga in the motherfucking world? You know what I'm saying? It's four, it's, it's four, five, about four and a half billion people in the motherfucking world. So, I'm going to say this. So, like for every four, uh, uh, we're going to break that shit down. So, like, I'm going to say it's um, just 4.5 billion people in the motherfucking world. Let's say about 1.3 million. 1.3 billion are males. Boom. So you telling me you know 1.3 billion people? No. I said, how the fuck can you say all niggas who just want to do it? Fuck. You don't know every fucking nigga in the, in the world, bruh. So you can't classify just like I say all bitches ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to call a female a bitch. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is if I go around break, uh, throwing that stereotype, you know what I'm saying, in my head and shit, then, then I'm going to just keep meeting bitches that ain't shit, dog. You, you do know it. This is what I'm saying. Back to throw. He steps up, comes across How all niggas ain't shit. Man, you got a brother nice job up that, path. that has well, a wife a job and kids and nutrient this fucking family like words. Hmm? Hmm? Um? Hold on, let me pause the game for that. Huh? Huh? Please tell me that. How the fuck is all niggas ain't shit if you got a brother with a wife and a family and he treats family like royalty and you stamp that shit? And you, and, 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 and you know cap that shit if that's how you use that word. Like, please tell me that. How are all niggas ain't shit then? Oh, well, niggas ain't like my brother. Oh, you got some niggas out here that's like your brother and better than your brother. You know what I'm saying? Not saying there's niggas better than, but I'm saying, what I'm saying is, you got niggas out here like your brother. Bitch, your brother ain't just the last of a dying breed. Get the fuck out of here. What <laughs> the fuck? Um... Exactly, Murphy. The the dudes they want just want to hit and move on. Just want to have fun. You've already had too much fun already. Right. It's a new phenomenon, but they out here now. It's scary to think of. It's scary to think of. That's why they vetting pro that's why the vetting process is important. Just like going on a home visit to a new recruit's house. Yeah. You gotta see what their background is like before you offer them that scholarship. Right. Hey bro, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a motherfucking a uh, uh, a dating code called the university. Uh-huh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it the university. And the first part of the university is going to be the scouting. You know what I'm saying? And then the next part of the university is going to be the offer letter. The offer letter doesn't mean I want to fuck with you. That just means I'm interested. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm saying I just got to, because I still got to come and make that, what? Make that visit to your school where you're at, your environment, to see how you are. You ever seen um, Loving Basketball? Remember she got skipped over 
Remember, uh, Monica got skipped over the motherfucking uh, scholarships because what of her attitude, bitch? Let me tell you, you ain't gonna get this scholarship if your attitude ain't right, bitch. Because you want to know why I sit your ass on the bench until you act right. You know what I'm saying? Until I put somebody else on my starting five out. Hey, thank you, Murphy. Thank you, BY. Yeah. Uh, you got it. Right. These dudes, they just choose, they just choose just want to hit whose fault is that. I blame both. I blame both. Because you want to know why? Niggas' daddies ain't here. Or men isn't... Well, I'm going to say like this. Niggas' daddies or men isn't here in their life to show them how to treat a woman. Or niggas won't tell them how to treat a woman. So... But you got to think, nigga. Nah, erase that. You got to think. You got a mother. So what the fuck? How, do you, how don't you know how to treat a woman? If you have a mother, sisters, grandmas, aunties, nigga. Nieces. So I ain't trying to hear that. I blame now nowadays I blame society. And when I say society, I mean social media. What they see in social media. Everybody seems to be the portrayal or the image of three wide out a social here. media. What they call them a uh Vicker on the inside handoff. Personality, there it goes. A personality. Just like you got radio personalities, TV personalities. Social media personalities. That's what the fuck they trying to be a social media personality in a real world. Let me tell you, you cannot be a social media personality or TV personality or radio personality in a real fucking world. Cause you wanna know why? Those personalities are fake. Those are fucking facades that they put on to entertain you people to keep you. No, I'm, I'm gonna say it like this. Some people, those are their personalities. Yes, but nine times out of ten, every radio personality, TV personality. Social media personality ain't who the fuck they say they are, dog. Take Love and Hip Hop, for example. Take Love and Hip Hop, for example. So you're trying to be something fake in a real ass world with it. A lot of people ain't going to, well, some people ain't going to accept that. But somewhere you bitches are sneaking the fuck in, not bitches as in female, bitches as in people's doing this shit. Somewhere you bitches are sneaking in and converting that shit. And I'm like, hold up. You motherfuckers are living a, 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 a social media life. You ain't living a real life. Damn, they gotta hire Bride. Like the fuck? Where's ins where's where's Waldo? Where's Inspector Gadget? Where the fuck they is Carmen San Diego? The fuck? Third down and eleven to go. Cause I be like, bro. Come out the shotgun. Crowder. That's what I'm saying. Crowder throws. So they go three and out after that incompletion. I look at social media, right? Not social media. Love and hip hop, right? And I noticed something. Number 12 is back awaiting the punt. And what I noticed is, alright, I was watching a video. Take a sip of my energy drink. He gets it away. Number 12 takes it at the 45. He got another one. The 10. I was watching the video. Saying April, April Jones and Tay D. They broke up. But somewhere along the video, right? I'm watching it, right? So the kicker lines up for the PAT. They were saying that um older men, a lot of older men. Some shit they're not gonna accept with these younger men. Listen. <laughs> Just listen. Boom. You look at Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Looks like Scrap. Scrappy. Because Scrap and Scrappy are two different people. Scrap, no Scrappy. Vicker feels it at the two. Young job. Kurt. Success their last time out. Not at all. It's all staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. Here okay, I'm gonna use those four because those are the only four that are solid characters on there. When I mean solid, I mean you see them niggas every year. Okay. The bulldog. You notice that when they get in, get into a, uh, a, 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 a disagreement with a girl, with a woman or their wife or whatever. They speak their mind and they don't back down. We got seven and nine here. Oh, 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 oh. What 
But when you look at the other loving hip hops or whenever they got the young niggas on there and shit. Young niggas, they just shut the fuck up. He didn't get much on that play at all. Brad, the defense made that play red and sealed it off from the get go. That them girls called them all types of names and tall shit on them and all that shit. They line up at the 19. Right. It's third down and 11 to go. My homegirl said something to me. She was like, that's because these young niggas bitch made. Thank you, yes. Because if you notice that all these, them, them older niggas, they like, bitch, man, what you, who the fuck is you talking to? Who is you talking, like, scrappy or tell Bambi? You got to be fucked up, like, I know Bambi's fucked up from time this shit. I know her fucked up shit. But <clears throat> scrappy be like, Bambi, who the fuck is you talking to like that? You got me fucked up. Da -da 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 -da. Scrappy ain't trying to hit none of that shit. The fuck you mean? Like, they, that nigga's a real man, bro. Like, come on, man. You can't talk to a real man. That's... When I meet younger rocks and they try to go on me, oh nigga, fuck you, nigga, 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 nigga. Let's just hope they don't fold the I tell these bitches straight up, they're like, excuse me, baby girl. I understand you mad, but I'm gonna let you know something. All that shit you doing, it ain't happening, because you talk to a real motherfucking man. Now, you can either talk to me some motherfucking respect, or you get the fuck out of my face straight up. Now, when you start talking to them younger bras like that, Oh, now it's a problem. Oh, you was a clown. You was a bitch made, nigga. All that. Yeah. I'm like, how? Oh, you were just talking to me like that. Don't feel good, huh? You can't talk to a real man like that. And expect not to be talked back. You know what I'm saying? That's why most of these niggas be sitting back. These young niggas be sitting back. That these bitches. You let a bitch call you a bitch ass nigga or a pussy ass nigga or a clown or a goof just to fuck? Like, no. I will. Fucking not degrade my soul for a, 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 a piece of flesh. That's all a piece of pussy is. A, a, is a piece of flesh that bleeds once every motherfucking month. Produces babies, but don't. That's all the fucking produce. They don't give you no money. Don't give you no gold. No dimes. Don't try to on the, the fuck extra point. But you better respect me as a man before I knock your ass out like you one. I mean, I ain't gonna hit no woman, but I'm just saying like. A lot of these women nowadays, these new millennial women, like, I don't know how to talk to no man, bro. I mean, a lot of niggas, I mean, I mean that's a lot of niggas don't know how to talk. Just the same way y'all say, oh, niggas don't know how to talk to a female. Females don't know how to talk. Damn, 101 to 20? Damn. What the fuck is this? A college basketball? How y'all females don't know how to talk to a man? Fuck you mean? Because if you would, you wouldn't turn on the real man. You got me fucked up, nigga. I'll spit on your fucking face. I'm gonna spit on my face. Okay. 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 Bitch, I'm gonna smoke your kids. You spit it my motherfucking face. <laughs> Off the record. The fuck? They'll take know, over. Man, you got me fucked up. You ain't about to spit it my motherfucking I wish the fuck you would. You got one time and one time. Five DBs on the field. Thank you, Mr. Exactly. Try or to attempt or to motion 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 or to and it look like, and, and I look into your eyeballs, and I see see a vision of you in your eyeballs. Bitch, I'm going to clock your motherfucking head. You get me fucked up. Because you want to know why I would never, I would never disrespect no one like that. Man, woman, cat, dog, bat, dog. Second and 13. Fuck. Ball you know what I'm saying? I got morals and beasts and respect, my nigga. Spit, though. Bitch, I'm going to spit on something. You got to spit on the spit, though. Fuck me. And one more time they tried to counter Trey there, this. but the defense read it nicely. Lead, it's yeah, amazing the face. read and recognition no, skills of these linebackers. They just always nah, seem you spit to have in my a face on the play. That's what time I'm a two-hand choke slam you. <laughs> oh, there I got over the door for my cat. You spit in my face, bitch. I'm a two-hand choke slam your ass with a jackknife power bomb, bitch. Then I'm gonna pick you up, baby. You okay? Hold on, mystery. Not the same what y'all used to me, give y'all. Like me, I ain't no woman beater no shit like that. Real nigga shit, don't get it twisted. I ain't no woman beater or no shit like that. But I'm just saying like... I know in the Old Testament says, I for I, two for two. So that means if a motherfucker put their hands on you, hit their ass back. But Jesus said, if a if if a motherfucker smites you, turn the other cheek. Let me tell you, I can turn the other cheek. 
But best believe when I wrap the fuck back around with that other motherfucker, yeah, you gonna feel that shit, bitch. You got me fucked up. Like, we can't all be Jesus or be like him. We can only be called to be, called to strive to be perfect like him. And it says that in the Bible. Look that shit up. So what that means is anything that I do, not trying to use it as an excuse, anything I do, Yes, I will be held accountable for, but you have to understand the flesh of a man, you know what I'm saying? The flesh of a struggling man, somebody's just, someone that's trying to get that shit right. The fuck? As long as there's flesh, there's always going to be mistakes, my dude. Mm. And notice I ain't what y'all used to me giving y'all. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, though. Like me. I noticed that a female, right? I noticed that a female, right? Hey, what's up, beautiful? I like the way you look at that. Can I take you on a date? No. Going deep. Lays it out there. Ooh! What is going on here, guys? We've just been outplayed and outcoached out there. And let a nigga come hard. Damn, baby, that's fat could. as shit, There's man. What's up with you? Got some money. What you trying to do? All right, what's good? What? I think that's what I'm about to start doing. We get bitches numbers. <laughs> I'm about to start. The ones that want to fuck for money, I'm about to start offering them money. All right, let me get your number. You just get the number and then just bust them out with some relationship. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> that, bitch. You go big with big. <laughs> I right, trap your ass. Wide receivers. <laughs> And make you be a housewife. Surveys the field. He lets it go, go. deep down the middle. He's all the Ooh. way. Touchdown. And it's official. They just broke the record. They talk about the greatest. Now make your ass be a housewife. <laughs> this game will have to be up there. Nobody's ever seen it. I ain't trying to test that. Fuck that. You made the wrong bitch a housewife. She's like, hey, boy, I'm, about to go, I'm about to go borrow some money from my mom and watch the baby. All right. <laughs> Nigga, you be a single father for for, for the 17 and a half years, nigga. What the fuck you be? You be mad and shit like, where's this bitch at? Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. That nigga got such a sandwich. That one's just going way back. Like what? Man. Like that, or it's gonna cost you. Speaking of some manwich, boy, that shit sound good right about now. With some motherfucking chips and a goddamn Pepsi. Yeah, this drive will start at the nine yard line. At the nine yard line. First and ten. Prouder. Lions up with me, me some motherfucking salmon. And some crab cakes and rizzi. Vickers gets the carry. And they got him for a loss. Great job by the defensive lineman here to get a paw on him and put him to the turf. Yeah, that's right. Get him now. Right. Yeah. Ooh. Second, Second and 11. Ball on the eight yard what line. Used to me I'm loving all this music. I make this Alabama e and M lines up with three receivers. It's third and fourteen. Third and fourteen to five. Come on, let's go. We got to get these. 
Looks to pass. Steps up. He's looking. We've got a safety. <laughs> that nigga <think it> hurt. <laughs> They put me up against Alabama A&M. And now they'll have to pump the ball here for the free kick. Where the fuck is this accelerated clock shit at? I'm like, bro, I can't find that shit. I'm tired of whooping these niggas' ass. So I'm ready to go in the back, take a shower, the lay my balls down. Look at Oh, he's done for the game. The whole, shit. The whole the team is done defense. for the game. Hands it off. McGee with a takedown at the 50. McGee. Matthew gains about two yards on the run. McGee. That'll make it second down. I'm going to keep on climbing. Keep on trying. Yeah. Second down. Eight yards to go. Ball right around midfield. Won't be long till the next to the line. Alabama AM lines up with five defensive backs. With God, I said it's mine. Four yard gain by the back. Now you wanna turn them out on me now, no. And if body got me, so don't go say that everything will be okay. I ain't know it won't, but one day, I know I see a bad day. Four yards to go. And ask yard myself line. why we won't go change. This is when their star receiver That's can real make shit. play. Hey, y'all go listen to that song. It's called something new. Going deep. Ah, ah, your mama eats butthole, nigga. What a catch. I'm surprised he was able to hang on to that one. People tend to think that guys play corner if their hands aren't good enough to play wide receiver. I forgot. And when the blitz come, they tell you throw them to the blitz. The Some guys play receiver instead of corner because they don't want to hit or tackle it. That's my bad. They'll get the ball here at the 10 yard line. First and 10. The defense line is a long line. time ago. Real long time ago. Feel me. The offense is lucky to retain possession of that ball. The coach can't the be happy song with the running back is carrying the football. 94. Second and 11 coming up. Second ball on the nine-yard line. Jones has four receivers lined up here. Jones drops to throw, looks, throws this one out to the right. This one is incomplete. Brown was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it third down. Well, he caught that, so he's all good. He said, I don't have a problem with you, Pat. Coming up in here, breath smelling like train smoke. <laughs> that nigga is stupid. That nigga is retarded, bro. Looking. What's that holding? That can be a moving back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen. Yeah, that's an HBCU. Wait, why is that white guy? <laughs> what is it? This is an HBCU. Oh, they tricking. 
First and long. Ball on the 21 yard line. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. Vicker on the run. And he's tackled at the 24. Vicker gains around three yards on the run. It's second and long. Ball on the 24 yard line. Man, I thought I lost my motherfucking wallet earlier. Boy, I'm about to go crazy. He unloads it. <laughs> That's incomplete. Well, I know you ain't just hit that motherfucking Britney Spears. Make it third down. <laughs> crazy. Boy, I'm about to go mad. Oh, my, my. <laughs> What's that? Give me, baby, one more time. I, I can't remember what's all that was. Boy, I'm about to go mad. Surveys the field. Jones zips it. That's game. Kirk, any thoughts on why they've had such an off day? Oh, it's been all about making some shit. mistakes out there, and that interception was another perfect example. Let's just run the ball. They'll, they'll, and they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Payne lines up in the shotgun. Payne options right. You all yeah, BY. At the 25. So second down and five to go. Ball on the 25. They come out with three wide receivers. He's looking to pass. He heaves it deep. <laughs> Calls it in for the touchdown. These niggas catch better than 2014, bro. For his second touchdown reception of the ball game. These niggas catch like they actually supposed to catch in this game. Max Payne slinging that motherfucking gun around. They'll line up for the extra point. So much into the graphics and for real, they be the game gameplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but, if you but you notice, it's every year though. Every year, it's like every other year, you'll see great ass games though. And then the next year, they'll upgrade, they'll upgrade on the graphics, graphics and downplay it on the gameplay. gameplay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but you gotta think though, this world is more visual now so they like fucking niggas ain't really gonna sit down and be concrete of the gameplay of a game because like no, that's what they think. That's what i they would think. i would you know what i'm saying you still got some niggas that would though you know what i'm saying but it, it, it's not all about how it looks yeah it's, it's not, not though that's what i'm saying not, that's why you, when you said visual people are more visual i'm like that's not necessarily true because i'm the type of person why when i get into the game yeah okay i do look at the graphics i do look at the gameplay but when it gets down to the flow of the game I'm big on that shit. Like, yeah. like, like I told you, Call of Duty, prime example. Storyboard on that zone, you, I'm like, damn, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But certain games like that, the game, the graphics be dope and shit. But then you get to a certain plot in the game, you like, hold up, the gameplay be this just some bullshit now. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but that's only on certain games though. Like, and, and mainly it's on sports games. That's what, and that's what niggas be playing it's all the good. time. Cause let me tell you, the best graphics I seen on 2K, 2K since it's been out, the last best graphics I seen was 16 and 19. 
after that, all the faces were the same. All the faces were the same. All the faces were the same and shit. No, I, I, I take 21 and 20. See, I haven't played. T- I played 20. Okay. 20 was good on gameplay. 21, it was good in just the deep. They, like, they boosted up the defense and had the defense up. Like, niggas still in the ball crazy. Too like, many steals, yeah. Up. Too many fast break steals, like yeah. hold up. Too many lob like, steals and shit. That's just like NBA Live. NBA Live is so easy to fill the fucking ball because all I do is gotta cut you off your route. If I cut you off on where you're going, it's a steal every time. Oh yeah, that's in basketball period though. Yeah, but it's not real though. Shit. Uh, like, so not every you, time, yeah. Not every time, Tyree yeah. From, you cut Ty- Tyree off from his pass from Rivers. You gonna send the ball to Tyree? If you double team, yeah. Shit. You talking about passing, not dribbling? No, nah, I'm just I'm talking about dribbling. Are you talking about dribbling? If, laugh, if I cut you off your route from you moving, if I cut you off, it doesn't matter how. Yeah, you how must how ain't dribble, you must ain't play the latest live then. What's the latest live? Uh, it was right? no, nah, it was nineteen. I did play that. That's a, that's what I'm talking about. Nah, shit. I played that on Xbox. Cause, uh, that shit different. Uh, now. Uh, that's when I was dealing with Smiley. Yeah, this shit, that shit different now. Like, they up, they got so many patches and they upgraded that shit now. But it's like, the one thing they won't fix is the shooting. The shooting is terrible. Same thing with 2K. The shooting is fucking terrible. Nah, like. nah. Oh, they fix it? Niggas just, I ain't gonna lie. I was one of them people saying that 2K shooting is shitty. Well. It is, man. 2K shooting is terrible. Hey, y'all, tell me this. 2K shooting is terrible. Please tell me this. Yeah, that shit is terrible, dog. I'm like, to tell you. Hey, man, his followers, his viewers, put this shit down in the comments. <laughs> What do y'all think about 2K shooting? You actually got to know how to shoot the ball, and you can't take no bullshit-ass shot or anything-ass shot unless... I done seen niggas take op- wide-open shots and miss that shit with green. I'm like, oh, how the fuck? I ain't never seen that. <laughs> I, I have, nigga, I have. I done seen niggas miss wide-open shot, green money. Green money. I'm like, hold on, how the fuck do you miss a green money? Like, come on, hey, man. You know me, I'm a, I'm a 2K fanatic. You know me. When I get 2K, it's on the But you bottom. see, the last 2K I played was the one that you let me... Uh, the one you let me use, what was that, 22, 21? 22. 20, see, that's what I'm saying, yeah. But 22, the shooting was easy. 22, 20, 20, 21, and 22, shooting was easy. I ain't gonna, this is the hardest shooting. Like, 23 was the hardest shooting because you can't really make white. You got to bring everything. Oh, they said 21 shooting was terrible, too. It huh? was a but see, that's what I'm saying. That's when 21, they, they focus more on the gameplay. I want more on the graphics than the gameplay. Then when 22 came out, they focus more on the gameplay than like the graphics. Dude, that's when motherfucking centers and power balls is making threes. And that's what I'm saying. I'm like, what the oh, fuck? I mean, it's real. Don't get, I, ain't, I ain't gonna doubt it. I ain't gonna knock it. It is real. Now, 22, you had more centers than <laughs> Decent kick. Uh, Vickers fields it at the one. No Good coverage by the kicking team. Yeah, beautiful job of playing their assignments there. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coke. Alabama AM comes out in the shotgun. Jones, back to throw, looking, lets it fly. They can't connect, incomplete. Vickers was the intended target on the play. That'll make it second down. But you want to know why it's so, it's so outside. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Not even that, it's the defense. The way they play defense now. Alabama a and sets up with four receivers. He's rolling right. He'll dump this one off. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Like, 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 shit. Let me tell you, this is what I'm saying. Back in the day, you can, you can, you can hound your man from the motherfucking perimeter to the basket. Nowadays, you got to give him space and all, give him that space and all that shit. You can't elbow on the back and none of that shit, hand check, none of that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, I was never a fan of that hand check. Elbow, okay, that's six inches. Bye. Six inches, all right, because you extended. Your wingspan is fucking seven feet, nigga. But 
you gotta think. Why the fuck yeah. is you putting your hands on me? You had a lot of people that can get past that hand check though. Kobe, Penny Hardaway, T uh, Tim Hardaway, Alonzo Mourning, Dwayne Wade, LeBron James. You got niggas that can get past that shit. So yeah. I'm like, why would you take an aspect out the game that that that's beatable? That's uh, yeah, it's beatable, but it's also usable. That's what I'm saying. On a slower, a slower, you know what I'm saying? A slower player, the hand check will work great. But on a nigga like Kobe or somebody, fuck no, that hand checking ain't working. Cause why Kobe or Jordan will spin the fuck right off of you? And Motherfucker Charles Barkley will back you down and bang on your ass. You know what I'm saying? Look, this is why I say the F, the uh, forearm is more effective. You trying to spin my forearm is right here. Yeah, yeah, you got What's all up? this. Yeah. What's up? Come on, I'm, I'm still checking. I'm still on you. It's hard for you to get off me. I'm gonna make you work for this bad shit. Instead of that hand shit where, oh, nigga will brain shake the shit out, nigga hit your ass with the door. Yeah, oh, ah. and then another thing they don't do anymore, when they when you when a motherfucker back down, the defender how they can throw a chest into him, mm -hmm. can't do that shit no more. Yeah, you gotta go fit up. Yeah, you gotta put your hand straight up like That's why when motherfuckers be like this, mister, you play you when you play basketball, you be fired like a motherfucker. That ain't fired. Cause niggas don't know how the old you, rules used you, to you, be. You just mad because you can't do nothing against it. I'm on your line. I'm yeah. on your nowadays, But nowadays, you, that, but that's what it does. The defense is hands up instead of hands out. You know what I'm saying? Like, back in the day, they used to, hey, play hands out. Now they play hands up. Like, come on, man. Like, nigga could go around that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on the 19. The Bulldogs come out the shotgun. Look, here they come. Everett comes up with a sack. Eight put the pressure. On the floor. it and it doesn't look like he got all of that one and it's out of bounds at the 38. The offense running for the first play of the stride extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. The offense will start both at the four yard line. First and ten. Ace backfield. Payne steps back to pass. Down the middle. Catches it. Brought down at the 29. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. has four receivers lined up here. Up the middle. He might have a chance. The five. He's in. Another touchdown. And they just continue to pour it out out there. I'll tell you what, this has been a tremendous effort all game long. What a performance. This is one team that's been extremely well prepared. These young men have played about as good a game as you could ask. So the kicking team will line up for the point after. He makes the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Woods gets set to kick this one away. Fields it at the two. The covers are ball. They should be thankful to get it back. Exactly. And the coach can breathe easy now that his own player recovered the fumble. The 
to go to work. And the 14 will start the drive at the 14-yard line. First and 10. With the way the scoreboard looks, I suppose they thought, why not try a new quarterback? Hands it off. He's taken down at the 23. <laughs> hey, Kirk, it looks like this kid just spent the night out on the town. Well, he took a big hit there, Coach. I don't think he's got his equilibrium back yet. We have our Coca-Cola players of the game, and it's really no surprise. Congratulations. Jones lines up with four wideouts. Drops back to the pass. He looks. The cavalry's coming. Pace gets in the backfield for a loss. shotgun he's looking he's looking for his man and that'll bring up a big fourth down the defense held down the fourth there it'll be interesting to see what they decide to do now on the offensive side of the ball and they're ready to punt this one away number 12 has been explosive so far returning two of these for touchdowns Frank punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Finn move. Hardly tough sledding for this offense that last drive as they took it in for six. I look no further than the guys up front. They created some huge holes to run for. for Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso signing off. Until next time, so long, everybody.
Corso and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. Happy New Year, everybody. As usual, the 1st of January brings a lot of hard-hitting action. And here comes the home team. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? William and Mary is in a little bit of trouble defensively. Of course, the key to this game will be their ability to put pressure on the quarterback. He's very creative, and I think his ability to escape pressure and make big plays is why they'll win this football game. I really believe that these guys are going to do it. All right, you've heard the coach's pick. Now let's take it down to the field for the coin toss brought to you by Coke. Sends it downfield. To Tofi. Fields it at the 11. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. We've got a first and 10. The ball on the 29. Take over at the 29-yard line. First and 10. Marshall is back in the gun. for a loss on the play. They get a one-yard loss on that one. It looks like this defense has put up some very impressive numbers thus far. I'll tell you why. They're fast, they're strong, and they tackle well. That combination means one thing for the offense. They, they've been playing great football all year. No game, no line of scrimmage, and that's it. Third, Third down at 11 to go. All on the 28 yard line. Defense, defense, defense. Mary lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Under heavy pressure. Catches it. He's tackled at the 29 yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down. That was a great three and out by the defense. Four four and ten. Line up to punt this one away. Jones will be the return man. He punts it. Jones fields it at the 26. Well, we'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterparts. They'll get the ball here. Over 37 yards on the yard line. First and 10. ten. One man backfield. Earl back to throw. Somehow gets the ball away. And that one's fallen incomplete. That's just a great defensive play. It won't look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. That'll make it second down. Second and it's ten. Second and ten. With three wide receivers. Holly takes a handoff. Holly steps out of bounds at the 45. Yancey is walking off the field now, and the trainers are going to have a close look at him. Some coaches want to say mind over matter, but if you're hurt, you're hurt. Simple as that. Nothing you can do about it. It's third down, and three. three to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. William and Mary comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. And he brings it down. He's all the way down to the 31-yard line. He threw a bullet in there. Oh, he sure did. We've already talked about his arm strength. But what really impresses me are his mechanics. 
Titanic. His passing motion is so fluid. First and 10, ball on the 31, 31 yard line. Earl is back in the gun. Earl back to throw, looking, rolling out to the right side. Earl delivers. Everyone had a shot at catching that pass, especially the guys on defense. There was no one open, and he threw it in there anyway. Second down and 10 to go on the 31 yard line. Cook with a takedown at the 25 yard line. The running back gives him this on the ground. Let's look at how they rank in offensive production for the year. Wow, these guys can't be stopped. I hope this defense is ready for them. Hey, this offense is one of the best we've seen. They know how to get the ball down the field. Earl, back to pass. It's deflected. The defense holds. Great job to get a finger on that pass and cause the incompletion. Four Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. The defense sets up in the dime. Back to pass. Looks. He lets it go. And it's caught. And he's tackled at the 21. That play could not have come at a better time. That was absolutely the perfect time to go with that play on fourth down. Yep. The defense thinks they got him right where they want him. And then, whoosh, first and 10. First Here's and the eighth play of the series. Oh, 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 oh. Earl comes to the line with three wide. Setting up the play action. Throws down the middle. And he brings it down. Nice play call on that one to get the ball in the receiver's hand. Yeah, the quarterback said, you want the ball, go get it. He got it He got it and took it for six. the uprights with the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summer. Brigham is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it. The Tophie fielded at the nine. So the offense takes over the last time they had the ball. This will be the start at the 30. At the 30 yard line. First and 10. Marshall with three wide receivers. Under pressure. He sacked at the 26. It's second and down now, 14 to go. Ball on their own 26. Marshall hands it off. Didn't get anything since on the carry. No gain on the play. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. 
And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Today we get to see one of the most exciting defensive players in college football. Guys, your thoughts. Brad, this linebacker is a pretty good football player. He's a very dynamic player and the undisputed leader of this defense. This kid is a monster against the run, and he's also very good in pass coverage. I just don't see this team running for many yards with this kid in the front seven. You're right, Coach. It's not going to be easy. They'll start at the 33-yard line. Earl comes to the line with three wide. Holly takes the pitch. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Holly comes away with five yards on the carry. From their own 38 yard line. All of the 35 going up here. They go with the run. Holden tackles him at the 44. That run gives him the first down. You know, in the media conference a couple of days ago, the coach talked about how important it was for them to establish the running game. Let's see if this helps them open up the passing game in. down the tribe line up in a 3-4 Earl set to go to the air throws it out there got it to his receiver to Tofi with the tackle at the 43 yard line how about that pass fellas well Brad the defense was coming with a blitz and that opened some room for these guys to get it open yeah and if you're coming with the blitz you better get to this quarterback otherwise he'll make you pay First down. First, First and ten. ten. Penalty markers down. They took too much time. Yep. Oh. The way of game. On the offense. Five yeah. 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 like they might have been. A little bit late getting the play in. And it results in a delay of game. Midfield. Earl lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. Looks. Here they come. Feeling the pressure. He got the ball away, but it wasn't anywhere near a completion. Nah, he just wanted to avoid the sack. Second, it's second and 15. 15. Ball on the 48 yard from the shotgun. in the pocket. He airs it out. Incomplete pass. Pressure that time, and he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Wow, the kid just avoided getting smacked on that one. Third and 13. Ball, Ball on the 48 yard line. He's looking for a sack and hoping to make a big play here on this passing down. Rolls to the right. Down the middle. The ball is tipped. Great play by the defender. Oh, yeah, he got his hand in there, broke up the pass, and that brings up fourth down. Fourth and fifth down, they're going to try to go oh, for it. Oh, 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 oh. The defense sets up in the nickel. He chucks it downfield. It's hit. Wow, they convert on fourth and long on that pass play, Kirk. Guys, you just don't see this happen very often. Fourth and a mile, the receiver comes up with a big play, and the defense is caught off guard for the first down. See what they can do in the red zone. Ball on the six yard line. They use four linebackers. On the ground with a tailback. 
Batman. Tatofi brings him down for a loss. A running back has to shake that guy. Corners are not supposed to bring you down behind the line of scrimmage. Come on, Kirk. That was a good-looking play by the corner. He did a good job of wrapping up and not letting him go anywhere. Second it's second and goal. Ball on the Ball seven. Seven. Ball seven. Seven. Going with the shotgun here. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. Yep, I love this kid. He's a great run stopper as well as a great pass rusher. He's the real deal, Kirk. He can do it all. Third and goal. The offense will look to the end zone here. It's third and goal from the nine. Five DBs on the field. Earl steps back to pass. He's rolling right. Guns it to the end zone. Someone got a hand on it. That's a fantastic defensive effort. Yeah, the deflection prevented them from getting any yards. Fourth and now goal. it's fourth down. Fourth down. And the kicking team's on to try a 26-yard field goal. Brigham could make it a two-score game. It's up. And they tack on three points. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Kicks off. The Tophi takes it at the four. Not a very good series for these offense in their last drive as they produce a three and out turn. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me out take over quickly. at the 30 yard line. The offense will start at the 30. The tribe come out in a shotgun. Ogletree brings him down at the 30 yard line. Second, Second down, ten, 10 yards to go. On the 30 30 yard yard line. Line. Three wide outs here. He's taken down at the 30. Fourth and 14. Four the Tribe are lining up to punt it away. Fourth four and 14. They line up to punt this one away. Oh, the 26 oh, yard oh, line. Yeah. Rogers is waiting for the snap. Punts the ball away. Jones takes it to 36. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. They'll start first down at the 43 yard line. First to 10. Give, and he's taken down at the 
45. A two-yard run by the halfback. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down and eight. The defense comes out in the dime package. Holly again brought down at the 46. Holly gets about a yard on the play. Third, and they line up at the 46. It's third down and seven to go. Holly, the lone back, back to pass. Toss is short. It's complete. Taken down at the 43-yard line. These days, you need a running back who can not only run the football, but who has good hands as well. Yeah, and this kid just put his hands on display. That's a great pickup by this back. First and we've got a first and ten. All of the three yard line. Lines up with four wideouts. He's looking to pass, and this one falls incomplete. The quarterback threaded the needle, but his receiver couldn't make the catch. Yeah, the defense caused that drop pass, because let me tell you, Second this kid knew he was going to get the clock. Three three yard yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Holly gets another carry. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The defense just blew that one up in the backfield. Just nowhere to run on that play, Coach. The halfback had nowhere to go from the get-go. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Earl drops back to pass. Across the middle. Yancey tackles him at the 31. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When the team converts on third down, they get really frustrated defense. When they convert in third and long, it just makes them sick. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 31. From the gun. He drops back. Steps up. He looks. Throws. Got him on the run. And he tackled at the 12-yard line. And fellas, this is really turning into a very impressive drive. Three first downs and counting on this drive, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building some momentum here. And more importantly, they've kept this defense on the field. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. The defense sets up in the nickel. up defensively in a 3-4. Touchdown. And the running back took that one in for the score. They're setting up for the PAT. He 
splits the uprights with the extra point. Just over five minutes now remaining in the second quarter. And the score, the home team, 17, William & Mary, nothing. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. Romero fields it in the end zone. A little juke. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow-mo replay to recap it. Now, now William and Mary 22 will, will start, start the drive the at the 22-yard line. First and 10. ten. Marshall back in the gun. Mathis with the tackle at the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line. Oh, the 22 -yard second down and 10 to go. The defense sets up in the dime. They go with the run. And he's hit hard at the 22. There was just no daylight on that play. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. He's playing the pass on this one. Surveys the field. He passes it. This one is incomplete. That brings up the punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. Four and ten. The punter comes on the field getting ready to send one off. Jones is back awaiting the punt. He gets it off. Jones fields it at the 40. And now the ball is loose. And the defense is on it. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. Good they field position over here. Over They'll start this drive inside their opponent's ten. territory. Earl with three wide receivers. Tackle at the 30. What sprung this play was some pretty good blocking up front. They read the blitz and picked it up nicely. Second it's second and inches. inches. Ball, Ball on the 30 yard line. Yard line. One man backfield. Earl drops the throw. Looks. He rifles it. And he pulls it down. Wide with a takedown at the 18 yard line. He goes over 3,000 yards passing on the year with that last play, Kirk. You know, here's a guy that loves the game of football, and it shows. He's having a lot of fun out there, and it's translating into some pretty impressive numbers. turns up when in the red zone and that's when you turn to Old Spice red zone when performance matters most. Earl comes to the line with three wide. Here's the call from the referee. There might have been some miscommunication down there. And any time there's a delay of game it's usually because they were late getting the right personnel on the field. Two yards on the carry, so that'll make it second down. Second, it's second down now, 13 to go. All, all on the 21-yard line. They line up. 
up in the shotgun. Drops back. He's looking. Gives a little pump fake. He rolls out to the right. He takes off. Holden brings him down at the four. They'll get the first down. The reason why he got so much room to run was because the defense didn't contain him. Yep, coach, he made the correct decision to tuck it and go. Just inside the five. First down. Earl lines up in the shotgun. Earl drops to throw. He rifles it to the right. Incomplete. He sailed that one high. That's not a bad incompletion because he saw the blitz coming and just got rid of the ball to avoid losing yardage. Second, Second down. down. Ball on the four-yard line. Shotgun formation. Let's see if they run the draw here. Earl steps back to pass. He looks. Rolls right. He zips it. Got it ball. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. In the end zone, and he dropped the pick. Are you kidding me? He basically just blew a chance to take points away from the offense. That's huge. They set up in the shotgun here by the goal line. Keep an eye on the quarterback. I wouldn't be surprised to see a draw here. And it pays off. Touchdown. You know, this quarterback has shown just incredible poise all season long. And he just threw his 40th touchdown pass. It's just amazing. This has been a very special season for this kid. Who would have ever thought he's going to throw 40 touchdowns this year? <laughs> Not me. Well, me either, coach. But what can you say? He's been awesome. And they line up for the point after. point. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, the home team, 24, William and Mary, nothing. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Decent kick. Romero has it at the five. Yo, the defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Yeah, the offense wasn't clicking on their last possession. We'll see if they have things figured out on this game. They'll over go to work at the 25-yard line. First, First and ten. ten. The Tribe set up in the gun. The running back has it. This is a heads-up play by the linebacker. The He's playing no run and had one his one eyes one. on the guy carrying the football from the get-go. Good defensive play. Second so it's ten. second and ten. Ball, Ball on the 25-yard line. Yard. William and Mary sets up in the eye. Not to you. On the inside handoff. He didn't get much on that play at all. Brad, the defense had that play red. Sealed it off from the get-go. Sets up in the nickel. Marshall, back to pass. He passes it. Intercepted. He's got some blockers. The 10. Touchdown. A great interception return by this defense. Hey, they say the best offense is a good defense. Yep. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. And he converts.
blocks the extra point. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, the home team, 31, William and Mary, nothing. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it's off. Romero fields it in the end zone. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they go into the ball. Oh, yeah, we're very we're very we'll start, start the drive. That's right, right sweetheart. You're all always excited. Ten. The Tribe go with the I formation. Marshall hands it off. And they got him for a loss. William and Mary will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. From their own 19 yard line. Ball on the 19 it's second yard down. Satil lines up in the deep back. High formation. Marshall gives it up the middle. And the big fellow with some room. They'll bring him down at the 36. They get a really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. Look at the throw. He unloads it. Got it to his receiver. William and Mary will take their second time out of the half. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. William and Mary comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Marshall sets up the play action over the middle, and it's caught. Robinson with a takedown at the 27-yard line. They like to run this fast-paced kind of offense. Yeah, and sometimes you get the defense to panic and waste the timeout. Marshall on first down. Marshall lets it fly. He catches another one. Tackle at the eight. Well, that's the way to do it on first down. It was a nice throw and catch, and it will give them another first down. Absolutely. They come out in a five-wide set. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Got it all. And it's incomplete. Boy, that was a good defensive effort there. The ball was there, but the defender beat the receiver to a nice play. So that'll make it second down. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the eight-yard line. From the gun. Zatiel again. And he's tackled at the six. Two-yard carry by the fullback. Guys up here in practice this week and kind of got the feeling that they might run a little no huddle. In fact, here it comes. Marshall back to throw. Under pressure. And he can't get away from the pressure. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The offense calls a timeout, and now they got no timeouts left. No, in the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. The kick is up, and it's through the upright. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. William and Mary to kick this one off. Jones and Davidson back ready to return. He kicks it off. Davidson fields it in the end zone.
And the teams are lined up to start the second half with a kickoff. He sends it off. Davidson fields it at the seven. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 28 yard line. First and 10. Earl adjusts the play at the line. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Step ball. Both start on the offense. Man, alive. These are frustrating penalties, coach. You need to discipline these players. Otherwise, they keep making stupid penalties. So your players probably never committed any penalties, right? Oh, yes, they did. They paid the consequences. Earl on first down. Looks. Once it all. Going deep. It falls incomplete. Hill was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it second down. Second, second down. 15. Ball on the 23 yard line. Defense lines up on a 3 4. Counter play. Ellis tackles him at the 36. Pretty nice run there by the halfback. Yeah, he wasn't phased at all by the blitz. He just found the hole and picked up some good yardage. Third From their own 36-yard line. Of the 36 in third yard down. Line. Earl is back in the gun. Earl drops the throw. Surveys the field. McFarlane comes away with a sack. Wow! He just went boom right down. Ooh. That didn't sound very good. Especially when it's a quarterback who go boom. Fourth Ball down, and the punt team lines up. Yeah. Romero is the deep man, awaiting the return. Punts the ball away. Romero takes it to the 32. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Well covered by the kicking team. He didn't go anywhere. What I like about this play is that the guys stayed in their lanes and didn't allow the big play. With three wide receivers, with the misdirection, Arrow with the tackle at the 35 yard line. With the fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. Second, they'll line up at the 35. Ball, 35 second down. Five DBs on the field. Marshall drops the throw. Marshall unloads. Got it to his receiver. He did a good job of catching that inbounds, Kirk. Yeah, the receiver did all the work on that play. He made a great adjustment to the ball and dragged his feet. First first and ten. Ball ball on the We've got the first and ten. Ball on the 44. The Tribe line up with a single setback. It gives to the fullback. Robinson takes it down for a loss. I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler, and he showed it right there. No question. You can tell these guys are very well coached when you see these kind of tackles. From their own 40-yard line, we've got a second and 14. They line up in the shotgun. Marshall drops back, stepping up. Marshall delivers. They can't connect. Incomplete. Satil was the intended target on the play. That'll bring up third down. Three. 
third and 14. 14. Ball on the 40. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. Looks to pass. He looks. Here comes the pressure. They'll make the sack. Marshall looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into season-ending ones. Awaits the snap. He gets it away. Noble fields it to 31. The defense did a good job against him the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. First down, 10 yards to go. All on the 32 yards on 10. Earl hands it off. He's tackled in the open field. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Second, Second and two. two coming up here. Ball on their own 40. Yeah. Holly lines up as a single back. Yeah. Bolden brings him down for a loss. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there third and make a sure tackle. Ball it's on third down and four to go. of converting on third down. If you're going to have any kind of success, you got to be able to keep these drives alive like they did right there. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 46. Earl lines up in the shotgun. comes out in the dime package. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to go long and done. And it's a true freshman. A good look and pass that time. Here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. He shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters most. Earl looking to throw on first down. Looks. Guns it to the end zone. And it's complete for the touchdown. What do you think about that touchdown, Fast Kirk? That was number three, Herbie. Well, patience is the key here, guys. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. He's 
splits the uprights with the extra points. So with just over three minutes remaining in the third quarter, our score, the home team, 38, William & Mary, 3. to Tofi. Takes it from the six. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start at the 22. Satil is the single setback. Looking for his man. It's intercepted. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. And what a nice interception that was. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route. But regardless, still a great play by the defense. First and ten will we'll start, start the 29 yard line. 29 yard line. First, First and ten. ten. Holly alone in the backfield. He looks to throw on first down. Incomplete pass. Jones was the intended receiver on the play, so that'll make it second down. Second it's second down. down. Ball, Ball on the 29-yard line. line. The defense lined up in a dime. Holly takes the give. Brought down at the 17. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job of reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. Pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. They get a good seven yards on that one. Second, Second and three coming up. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. They hit it off again. They'll bring him down at the seven. Holly gets three yards on the carry. Third and a foot. Ball on the seven. Seven yard. Third and short, and they hand it off. And they make the stop at the four. He didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move the ball downfield. They're in the red zone. Earl comes to the line with three wide. Earl steps back to pass. And he's got it for the touchdown. And he managed to find his tight end for his second touchdown reception of the ball game. So the kicking team will line up for the point after. He makes the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. The 
kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Decent kick. To Tofi. Has it at the five. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Marshall hands it off straight ahead. Tackled for a loss. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Yeah, and that time the defense got him to go backwards. It's second and 11. Ball on the 23-yard line. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. Again with a carry. Jackson tackles him behind the line. Some loss on the play. So the fullback loses about a yard. The offense will take over at the 44 yard line. First and 10. Earl with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Rolling out to the right side. Throws it. His receiver has it. And he's tackled at the 37 yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. One man backfield. It's first down. Ball on the 37-yard line. Holly is the single setback. Earl, back to pass. Earl zips it right. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time player, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, the ball should have been picked off. Second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. They're lining up in the 5-2. Pearl with the play fake. He throws it. And that one's fallen incomplete. That would have been a tough catch for the wide receiver. Third and 37-yard line. Ball on the 37-yard line. Don't be surprised to see this defensive end wreak havoc back there. They'll bring him down at the 33. They tried to run on third down, but they couldn't pick up the first. They almost fooled them with the run. Oh, yeah. Nice oh, call by the coordinator, coordinator, though. I know they didn't get the first, but they kept the defense guessing. This is to add to an already impressive lead. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he's got it. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. 
This kid is just a solid kick. Cook ready to kick. He kicks it off. Romero has it at the five. You know who's trembling right now? Well, it's not the defense. They played well all game. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. Three interceptions later, they've benched their quarterback. And the backup's in. Drops back to pass. Throws. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Porter was the intended target on the play. That'll bring up second down. They line up at the 23. Oh, the 23. Second down. The Tribe line up in an eye formation. It's up to you. Gets it on the inside. And he's taken down at the 36 yard center. He's not your ordinary fullback. This guy can do You bet he can. I like this kid. He's a heck of a football player. They need to get him some more carries. from the shotgun. Hill will hit hard. And he's hit hard at the 45-yard line. It's a big fella could get any momentum going. It's tough to get this guy down the backfield. He's always falling forward. And on that one, they hit him before he could get his foot going forward. Second and 11 coming up. On their own 35. They hand it off again. Harold brings him down at 76. Not much help. One blocker. He's only able to get a yard. Third down, 10 yards to go. All of the 36 yard line. to go to the air. Looks like he's going to run. And he hits him hard at the 42. And he just got drilled. Looks like there's an injured player on the field. to start the drive. Earl lines up with four wideouts. They'll get him for a loss. Great play, taking him down behind the line of scrimmage. Man, he shot out of his stance like a cannon and exploded into the backfield. They line up at the 47. Second and 13 coming up here. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. Holly on the cross. Tackle made at the 36. And with that carry, the running back just went over 100 yards on the day. Well, this kid's having a great game. He's been running left, right, and up the middle. Boy, I'll say, he's been giving the defense a hard time third all game two. long. Ball From the 36-yard line, line, it's third down and two to go. Earl comes to the line with three wide. They'll run for the first on third and short. Bolden tackles him at the 33-yard line. And that'll be good enough to move the sticks. Great run. And now, we've got a new set of down. First down, 10 yards to go. The Tribe line up with six defensive backs. Earl steps back to pass. He lets it go. Got it to him on the run. And he's tackled in the open field. Good yardage that time on the pass. The thing that makes this play work is the quarterback. He throws this thing right in there. What an arm this quarterback's got. Right. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. Here they come. Good. Makes the sack.
from the 23-yard line. Second and long. Earl with three wide receivers. Earl drops back, looking. He steps up. He's wrapped up for the sack. The offense converted once on this drive, but now they face third and long. They come out with four wide out. Back to pass. Looks. Deep pass down the right side. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Come on, sweetheart. What are you doing? You don't have to rub it in like this. Yeah, coach, but then again, it is their job to stop this offense. I mean, they can't help it. They're plays are working so well. Well, if that's the case, then I hope they schedule these guys again, because there's nothing sweeter than getting revenge on the team that likes to run up the score. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Holly, alone in the backfield. He drops back. Fires to the end zone. And they get the two. I can't believe these guys are going for two at this point. This coach needs to act like he's been here before. There's no need for this. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Short kickoff. Romero fields it at the 11. They've been getting walloped all day, but at least they're still working hard. I like a team that never quits. The, the offense is very good at the 27-yard at the 27 at the 27 yard line. First, First and 10. 10. Here's the give. Ogletree with a takedown at the 31-yard line. Four-yard pickup by the fullback. In second and six. All on the 31 yard line. Satil is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Jones with the give. He's tackled at the 32. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. From their own 42 yard line. All on the 35 yard line. In the gun. Jones drops back, looks, throws to the middle, and he pulls it down. The defense was coming with heat on that play. Yep, and the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments. And that gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. Here are the offensive production stats brought to you today by Coca Cola. The Tribe go with the eye formation. Satil gets the call. Brought down at the 43-yard line. An eight-yard game. Game eight. From the 43-yard line. A second down and two to go. William and Mary comes to the line with three wide. He looks across the middle. He snags it. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. Oh, man, they had him good there. The defense was looking run, and they threw it for a big game. The running back really sold the run well that time. That allowed for the quarterback to get the ball downfield for a decent game. First, First, First down. Jones with three wide receivers looking. And he tackles him hard at the 28 yard line. Second, Second and long. Ball to the 28. 
The defense is in the nickel. He drops back. Let's it go. It's complete. Samuel steps out at the 25-yard line. And the completion nets him very little yardage. Coach, what's up with that play? I'll tell you, those defenders crashed in and got him in a hurry. No chance to get anything there. there but to go for him coach i tell you even though this one is basically over this defense isn't going to let up or relax at all i like to see that from a team it shows good discipline the whole team will take over at the 25 first and 10. looking to throw on first down surveys the field and he's going to come up with a sack He's going long. He got it. And he's all the way down to the 43-yard line. Great pass play. This guy comes up with a great catch here. He's got good hands. And when he's on, there's no one in America that can catch him. There's a flag down. And here's the call. Fine folks from EA Sports would like to tip their hats to these kids on being named Coke Players of the Game. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. on this game, Kirk. I have to say that I wasn't expecting a blowout victory. William and Mary got absolutely crushed today in this football game. I hope they can put this one past them because sometimes it's difficult for a program to bounce back after an embarrassing loss like that. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody. Thank, Thank you for attending today's football game. Thank <laughs> you.